What's going on, YouTube? Today, we'll be talking about do you need six-figure skills to get six-figure tech jobs? Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Textual Chatter, where I'm your guy, HD, where I bring you news on tech, career, lifestyle, and much, much more. Um, it's your first time on the channel if you're interested in leveling up your career, learning about cybersecurity, and how to navigate the corporate America streets, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for me. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you share it for me on uh, social media for the YouTube algorithm. Today's video topic is pretty much inspired by a tweet that I made on Twitter either last week, two weeks ago. I mean, I, I've talked about it in a couple of podcast episodes already. However, you guys have not seen them yet. And oh, by the way, speaking of podcast episodes, if you want to see the podcast episodes before they come on YouTube, make sure you go ahead and join my Patreon. I'll have the link in the description. I will be having exclusive podcasts, exclusive videos, every pretty much some other things that I don't really want to put on YouTube will be on the Patreon. So if you want to rock with me and support me like that, please join there. But let's keep going. I made a post and I'm going to pull it up in a second, but it pretty much said people want six figure tech jobs without the six figure skills. And I said, it don't work like that. And then I followed up saying, Hey, if you get the skills, the jobs will find you. Now I'm going to go to that tweet in a second and we're going to talk about some of the foolishness people quoted it with. And I'm just going to react to it because I think this is going to be um, hilarious. So stay tuned. All right, we're back. Here's the tweet guys. Look at it. I got 2,500 likes, 221 quote tweets, 474 retweets. Um, we're going to go through like, so I changed it up on people that I only follow or somebody I mentioned can reply and look at this. See people like did not look at this. Prove your value of six figures plus and you'll get those roles without even applying to them. If you know, you know, and for the record the job I have now, they reached out to me. I didn't apply to that job. They found me on LinkedIn. Like I always tell people. So let's keep going. <laughs> and I also put. Shout out, you know, textualtalk.com. If you want to listen to the podcast, I'm going to give myself a like right here. Boom. No, these are good. Shout out to my guy, Marquise. They don't want to hold themselves accountable. Keep talking your stuff. Look, see, these people get it. If you tweet this every day, folks still wouldn't get it. Got to have skills and can speak to those skills. I don't know why he asked me that because that's not what I'm talking about. You know, this is this going to be a lot of replies. So let's go to some of the funny stuff real quick. TikTok is saying otherwise. Um, let me link, uh, do this. TikTok is saying otherwise. And I, I plan to actually do a video on this. I saw a post about it in one of my stories about somebody breaking that down to Business Insider. So I do want to talk about that. Let's see what we say. Tech is the easiest way to earn six figures and flip your family's misfortune. If we're talking about nine to fives, every offer I give out is over six figures and some even into the territory if 300 400k in total comp. The crazy part is where I'm from, this shit is not common knowledge. Duh, we know that. Uh, let's see. Being in corporate America to know it's exactly like this. We'll climb the ranks too. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't know if he's agreeing with me or what. I see everybody are keep on getting whatever it's TikTok stuff. I don't even know what this dude's talking about. And this is why, okay, guys, for y'all don't know. For y'all don't know, I hadn't really even been on Twitter like that for the simple fact that people have been getting on my nerves like this tweet. I'm about to go back to it and share it, but I just want to let y'all know that's the reason why I hadn't been on Twitter. Uh, let's resume. Like, I don't know what that means. Of course, it's a podcast tomorrow. What that has to do with anything They don't have nothing to do with nothing. Stupid. 
this must only apply to black people because them white boys be unqualified and overpaid. That's not necessarily true. Every white person ain't don't have connections. Like that's what people got to start realizing. If you're not in tech, you don't even know what you're talking about. I meet them. I've had clients that ain't just getting money. I know people I work with that was getting severely underpaid and they was white. So I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Shut up. <laughs> Matter of fact, I know exactly what clip I'm gonna put in right here. Here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. <laughs> the fuck are you talking People about? That shit stinks. Even talking about that, do we focus on the majority or the minority? The, none of these people in tech. Thank you, Philip. Shut up. You're stupid. No, it does not. That's why I just stopped replying to fools. I don't like the boot camp thing is irrelevant because you still learn skills to get a six figure job eventually in a boot camp. So you can shut up too. Thank you, educated base. She understands. What? You stink. I don't even know who you are. And this is dumb too. Elitist Twitter. How is this elite? I don't understand how this is an elitist tweet. Man, matter of fact, I'm finna. What is the definition of elitist? I'm gonna look it up right now. Relating to or supporting the view that a society or system should be led by an elite. A person who believes a society or system should be led by an elite. Let's see if we got any more definition. Let's see what Marion Webster says. One who is adherent of elitism, one whose attitudes and beliefs are biased in favor of a social elite class of people. A person who is or regards himself or herself as a member of a socially elite group. Giving special treatment and advantage to wealthy and powerful people. Regarding the other people as inferior because they lack power, wealth, or status. Nothing about my tweet said that. So y'all got to understand. Y'all are dumb. Y'all y'all are dumb. I'm just, I'm just going on it because this is pretty fine. These people are stupid, bro. They're not a tick. Only people who actually put the work in understand what I'm talking about. Clearly. See, she got it. Shout out to Nikki because she's right. I don't understand how to equate the selling something. I didn't even sell anything in the whole tweet. Y'all saw the whole tweet. I don't get that. Y'all so used to people just saying stuff and selling y'all stuff. Y'all so dumb. Mostly people don't follow me, so they don't even know. Yes, I sell stuff, but I'm one of the like, most thorough people out there. I got free content out here that you can go look at. I don't, I'm not doing it just to sell stuff. This is dumb too. Yes, tell everyone to get into tech, then gatekeep tech by telling everyone they aren't good enough for tech. Let's do dissect this stupid. Gatekeeping. We're talking about securing some of the biggest and most important companies in the world. You can tell most people are doing the bare minimum. Like, nobody, that's not gatekeeping. Imagine a dentist, doctor, you got what? Uh, that's the guy that does the eyes. Ophthalmologist, I think that's the name. Like all them different type of people. Imagine them. You say, "Hey, you can't be a doctor without you know actually going to med school." Like, come on, man. Look at this. Why he's not wrong? A lot of comments following are wild pretentious, whether they intend to be or not. Thank you. Thank you. Paris Athena, thank you. I'm just going to retweet this because I'm finally going through all this stuff. 
and y'all really don't understand, let me put y'all in on secret. Since getting into tech has became so popular, it's actually made it harder for some people who actually been trying to do it for a while. Like, no cap. Like, it's got super competitive. Because now companies trying to weed out who actually know how to do stuff and who's lying. It's wicked out here. Dude, shut up. You probably not even a real person. If I, let's see if we click on this dude. Do he even got a... Let's do like Al Snow. Shut up. <laughs> I hate when these people say they're fam. All right, so you got people that's, you know, way too many paper sites though. It's cool to retain info and take a test, but can you fix something that's broken ASAP without the CIO or director breathing down your neck? Hey, hey that's big facts, man. So let me, let me get back to talking to everybody. More of the story is, okay, guys, now let me get back into my, my, my bag real quick. Look, and maybe I should specify and say security jobs, but I know for a fact a lot of people just want to get into tech and make money, and I'm for it, but I'm letting you know it don't just always work like that. People go get a cert and think they finna get six figures. <coughs> no, don't. It, it, come on, man. Look who you're talking to. And I don't tell people they can't get it just based on my experience on what it took me to get to where I'm at. No, I've seen people that get it, got away faster than that, but they put the work in. I always bring up Dayspring as my number one example with happens in what? Two years time, putting in mad work. He's now working for, uh, I don't, well, you know what? I'm not going to say it. Go to his LinkedIn or check my, my stories from a couple weeks ago. I don't know if he said it on his page yet, so I'm not going to say his business, but he put the work in. Because every time I'll text this man, he's putting in work late at night doing stuff. That's how you get skills. So for people to try to tell me, oh, well, that I'm like, okay, I get it. But you got to understand, especially when it comes to cybersecurity, sometimes you may just hire somebody just because like they got a friend. I get it. And wh- don't even get mad at that. Just get your networking skills up and see if somebody can get you on. But I'm referring to everybody else. Like, you know, you can't be anecdotal about everything. Every like I said, every white person did not just get there and not know what they're doing. I work with uh, white people that are super smart and know what they're doing. Been doing it for years. That's the whole reason why I said, hey, if you work on the skills and you give them, and you show your value with six figures, they'll find you. It's nothing wrong. Like you seen my videos, my video with the, uh, what they'll tell you about working in the socks or what happens to a security incident. You got incompetent people on your team, and now you in an incident because they don't know what they're doing. Or it could lead to everybody getting fired. Like, shut up. We get paid high salaries because it's a high risk, high risk, high reward. And then sometimes one person can be the straw that broke the camel's back. And then what? What people going to be saying? Exactly. Because if you lie, man, listen, we had a, a situation, I think my last job, a dude was acting like he was a tier two. Come to find out, he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't even want the person to even interview. So imagine if we didn't catch that early on. And this man was on shift by himself, not knowing what he was doing. And for the record, I've signed off on a person who wasn't didn't have a super strong skill set, but this person was willing to work. No, they didn't start. I don't. They didn't start at no six figures, but I signed off on it. So I'm just talking about the higher up positions, like people. I said it in um, my clip that I got with DJX, one of the last videos I uploaded. People want to lie on resumes, then come in and apply for their highest position. Come on, man. Just stop it. Like, just cut it out. Like, it it don't work like that, man. And that's why I don't really be on Twitter. You saw that foolishness. Like, and let me see if I can find that last tweet, man. Hang on. All right, man. I'm just taking too long to find it. But the tweet pretty much said, I see why the U.S. reads on like a fourth grade reading level. Because 
comprehension is so low that you don't know how to comprehend what you read. And that's why we, that's why some of these adults don't make good parents or anything, good workers, because they're incompetent. They can't read and they weren't pushed to read at an early age to actually comprehend what they was reading. Because there's no way possible you can get elitism out of somebody saying, hey, if you want a high paying job, have high paying skills. These type of people that say they should get six figures for flipping burgers at Whataburger, McDonald's, Sonic. No, and here's the key expendable jobs like that you don't just get six figures in because you're expendable that's the reason why some a lot of help desks are underpaid because it's easy to train somebody else to do it though i don't agree with it because it's a job that requires a lot of work but that's the whole truth to it but you know i'm done i kind of just that was just a video i just wanted to show you guys unscripted reaction of how i feel about people on twitter line and stuff and yeah man appreciate you if you've been rocking with me you know like i said make sure you share the video uh comment subscribe again 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 join the patreon check out the textualtalk.com and yeah man i appreciate you it's your boy and i'm out